Hi guys, welcome back to Exmo Lex. Hi. As you can see, I've got my husband here with me and we're not in our usual place. Our car is currently getting some repairs taken care of and so I thought this was a perfect opportunity to do something we've been wanting to do for a while, which is try on temple clothes. Yay. Quick disclaimer, and I'll probably put something like at the beginning of the video, but just in case you like didn't read it for some reason, this is just all in good fun. We used to be Mormons. We are going to be putting on very secret slash sacred temple clothing. And if you are offended by that, like don't watch the rest of the video, right? Yep. I mean, that makes perfect sense. Pretty if easy. you don't want to see it, don't watch it. Don't watch it if you don't want to see some temple clothes. We're apostates. This is going to be very blasphemous. But um, yeah, we used to be a part of this religion and we haven't worn clothes like this since we left the church almost two years ago. We don't have our original temple clothes, but we do happen to have some friends that left the church and they gave us theirs. So hopefully they will fit <laughs> and yeah, enjoy watching us try them on. <laughs> Woohoo! This is yours, I think. Okay, these... I'm this not. looks really girly. Is it? Oh, sorry. You're right. <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> I mean, I could have put them on. Here's the uh, super fancy man's pleated white mm. dress pants. Um, I'm getting like you know FLDS what? vibes. These are probably just going to fit right over my shorts. So there we go. So we, we don't have garments. So this is going to be without the garment part. Actually, I hope I have a white bra. <laughs> so we got on the white part. So this is us on our full white. How do you feel? Culty. <laughs> I feel like the wife of a polygamist. I feel yes, very, I am indeed one of those. Very NFLDS. At least the dress has pockets. But yeah. This is pretty bad. This is worse than the one I had when we went through. We brought our satchels. Got our satchels. We have the rest of it, so you would take this to go to your endowment session. Um, and then, do you remember the order of everything? We'll just like, show what we have to do? Something like that. You're instructed to place the robe on the left shoulder. Place the cap on your head. Tie the... Uh, Fig leaf around your crotchal region. <laughs> <laughs> Left shoulder, right? <clears throat> yes. I don't know about you, but my my original one would always fall off my shoulder. I could never get it to stay on. Oh, they all do. This one, I mean, this one actually feels pretty good. By the way, they have changed some stuff since we went through. Um, I think women no longer have to wear veils as of like last year, but I had to wear one, so we're gonna do that. All the redundant white really makes a difference. And you have to have the knot of your sash on the opposite side of the robe. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> what? It's cute, right? It's so cute. You think I look really pretty? Mm hmm. Okay. Tie the apron on to cover your nakedness. There, now you can no longer see my nakedness. nakedness like you easily could before. Naked. And then, the piece de resistance. Poke me in the stomach. Woohoo! <laughs> I want to not be naked. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't these supposed to have loopies? Yeah, you but I think that's another thing they changed. They don't have the tie anymore. Like, I'm not sure why that matters. Is it just annoying? You have to, yeah, you have to thread this thing through this little loop and Velcro it. Some of them, the really old ones, tie on. And then you have to there. leave this thing dangling here for the rest of the ceremony. <laughs> that's super annoying. They got rid of that, I think. Look how cute we are! This is what we looked like when we got married. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Ready? Wow. The beginning of some kind of horror movie. If you feel uncomfortable wearing a mask, imagine walking around like this for like two hours. I thought it was three. 
they changed it. It's shorter now. Oh, yeah. Another convenient thing after we left. So yeah, and then what are all the changes you make? So you take everything off that you just put on. All right. Take off the hat. Well, okay. I don't think... You don't have to take it off. You have to switch sides, so... Oh, right. It's the tie, huh? So you remove the apron. I don't want to spend so long. You remove the sash. Because somehow this makes you more strongly godlike. Symbolism! It's all about symbolism! It's all about mason masonry. And then you take your robe off and expose your nakedness to everybody else <gasps> in the room. Naked. Switching. Then you put it on the opposite shoulder and redo everything. Okay. Because that isn't a waste of time or anything like that. I had a great experience going through a live session at the temple where this guy played Peter and he was really elderly and he would pause at very odd increments during his lines so there was one part where he was like come james and john let us go down and it was fantastic i laughed aloud you look like a ghostie wearing a loincloth you have to take off the stupid slippers and then place them back on your feet again oh my god like, I'm not doing that. I just realized, too, that you're not supposed to wear, like, colored ear, like colored jewelry. You're not supposed jewelry. to wear colored anything. So, I would have not been allowed to wear that. This is the switch. And then you would go through the veil after completing the whole thing. Do the Mormon. <laughs> I don't what know. What are some of the handshakes? Okay. Oh, wait. We should probably be closer for that. You just... Like, do this while you have your hand like right. that. That's one of them. And then there's the... You grab the person's palm with your pointer finger and thumb. It's the one where you interlock your pinkies. And then touch the other person's wrist to signify getting crucified there. There's the one that's like this. Yeah. You put your thumb between the two knuckles. There's one more. What's the fourth one? I guess we're not making it into heaven now. Shit. Well, anyway. So, yeah. You would go through the veil to the celestial room, um, looking like this, which is really, really With, fantastic. With, like, other people who look like this. Yeah, every, I mean, everybody's the same, so at least. This is very cute, by the way. I think I'm just gonna go out like this all the time. We should wear these out in public. That'd be kind of fun. Should we go walk down the street real quick? So, like, I get it, again, like, when we were members, this was considered very sacred for us. And secret. And, well, the whole thing is, like, sacred, not secret. Um, and pretty much we thought that if we ever did something like this, we would, we would be, go to hell. We would like, be burned immediately. Like, <laughs> probably struck by lightning. Like, I mean, even in the temple, if I ever had, like, negative thoughts, I would immediately be like, no, no, like, I'm just kidding. Like, God, don't, don't strike me, please. You're not supposed to talk about any of this outside the temple. You're not supposed to obviously wear any of the clothes outside the temple. Because they don't want people to find out that they really are so much of a cult. Oh, what was your name? Eli, right? Yeah, my special mystical name that I got was Eli, which I later found out is just... They give every guy the same name that comes through on that exact day. Yeah, you can look up like what people's names would be. Mine was Leah, and I wasn't allowed to know his name. But I was allowed to know hers, yeah, is, so... Yes, that's very nice. Well, yeah, hot. <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing us dressed like this. Um, if you were offended, like, according to David Bednar, that's your choice. Yep, that's so... too bad. This isn't um, meant to like hurt anybody's feelings. This is just the people that we used to be and we wanted to have a little bit of entertainment. We're and kind it's of... informative. Plus we don't have my car right now and so... Is that a tissue? Yep, that was an old tissue left in the pocket. I need to go uh, wash my entire body. That's now. disgusting. Also, if you guys want to, we thought... Put it up closer. Jumanji! Jumanji! If you guys want to see us play the Settlers of Zarahemla drunk, leave a comment. 
for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, special thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. You guys are amazing. And a special thank you to Tans and at Kigar for supporting at the demon tier on my Patreon. Do you want to like dance a little bit? <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. All of it's going to come off. We look like Adam and Ev. I'm sure this is exactly what they looked like. I know, I could have subject myself to this for hours on end while I could be reading a good book. Playing so games. many layers.